Hey guys, my name is Moan Pober and today I'm going to talk about how can you find your ideal client for your business. Let's get to it. And if this is the first video you're watching of mine, um, I'm here to basically share with you my experience. I've been involved in more than 10 businesses, seven figure businesses, and I'm here to share with you my lessons, my experiences. I'm also going to share with you some stuff that most people don't talk about. So stuff like how to grow a business using corporate financing strategies. So there's organic ways to grow and there's also growing by acquisitions ways. So I'm going to share with you both of those th things. Um, so if you're watching this video on YouTube, definitely like, subscribe and comment below. And also see the links in the description below. You can join our free uh, business group. So it's basically a free group. Um, the name of the group is Double Your Business. It's a free mastermind. You can join it right away at the links at the bottom. And also just check the other links. You can get some awesome free value there. So that's that's it for the introduction. Let's get to today's topic. So I get a lot of people asking me, where do I get those really, really good clients? Clients who will look at my advertisement, who will go through my sales process, who will talk to me or my sales team and will pay us a lot of good money. And people think there's one place that have all the best customers and the other place don't have them. I want to really kind of like talk about the myths that I see in this space or just in business in general of people who think that there's only one place to find those clients and what's the reason that and how they can find those clients in that one place. I'm going to share with you again my experience of being involved in many businesses in different sectors um, and let's get to kind of like the first lesson that I want to share with you today. Now, if you have an existing business, I'm sure you're not even asking why getting more clients is, is important. Obviously, if you don't have more clients, you don't have more revenues. If you don't have more revenues, you basically eventually won't have cash flow. And the reason that a business isn't surviving, the main reason that the business isn't surviving is because there is not enough cash flow in that business. But let's get into, I guess, some of the lessons to, to make sure you're avoiding the mistakes that I see every one other are making. So the first big mistake I see people are doing is shifting their target markets. So for example, people come to me and they tell me, hey Moran, I want to build my business and grow my business in a specific market. There is a, a crowd that I'm passionate about that I really want to serve. And after a while, so let's say they're getting a few sales for that market and then they're trying maybe Facebook ads or LinkedIn or so other social media platforms or maybe some direct mail or they're getting their clients from referrals or events but what i found out and again it's not even about finding specific people who have trust funds behind them and only have money it's not about that but the biggest mistakes that i see is people start with a specific target market and then during or wherever inside their business they're just deciding to change their market when they're too small so if you're not at the above seven figure a year business, you can make a very good business just by focusing on one target market. And if you're constantly changing between target markets, it means you always need to start again and again to learn their language, to learn the way they're doing business. And it just makes no sense to start. It's literally like starting a business from scratch if you're shifting your market all the time. And it's not just about the time that you're spending learning that different market, learning their language, their fears, their frustrations. It's about the money that it's costing you. Like I know people who spend $10,000 in this platform to test it. Then they test another $10,000 in that platform, test that. And all those different tests, I mean, eventually they can get to at least 50. I saw people who send me messages who spent 50 to $100,000 in advertising costs or trying to bring in new clients they're not profitable that's money that they can use to literally go and buy a business with hundreds of clients and it's it just frustrating to see those mistakes because they're not focused on what they know already working now most people out there will tell you yeah go and test that new thing there's this new platform there's this uh, chat bot or this new cool way to get clients and it just makes no sense to try those things before you master one place i know people who make 20 million a year in business from just one platform to bring clients. Now, you can split it into two ways. There's two ways you can grow that business. One of them, and to get to the same target market, one of them is to just get clients in your platform. So let's say just doing Facebook ads or just doing Google AdWords or just doing direct mail um, and letters. 
the other ways and, and and there's nothing wrong about it in my opinion just the slow way to do that so you're getting clients one at a time hopefully you're getting them profitable in a, in a profitable funnel because most, most businesses that are, are out there they're getting clients many times that either break even or even at a loss and their hope that they'll get money on the back end and become profitable after 30 60 90 days so that's one way to grow your business one client at a time the other way is to go and buy a business and grow by acquisitions and then you can buy a business that is in your target market and immediately get access to thousands or hundreds of clients that are already paying for those services and you can get access to them immediately now the beauty is that it's probably going to cost you as much as it is to go and test a new platform and try to reach a new target market the problem is that just most people don't know that they can do that even if they have a small business right now like you can literally take one or two months of marketing expenses and use that capital to go and buy a business that's what we're doing with one of our clients and partners paul so he have an existing business in whatever sector and he's buying a business that is literally three times bigger than his existing business and all we're doing to buy that business is twenty thousand dollar at closing and we're buying their a million dollar business literally so paul is going to have access to hundreds of clients in the same sector that he's currently in and all he's doing is just finding the right business to buy we call it a bolt-on acquisition so basically he's decided to focus on growing his business by acquisitions versus internally or organically but just growing one client at a time now maybe you're saying okay maybe that that deal is one of uh, i don't know uh, the deal of the century right and it's a very good deal because basically we're paying her just some small amount at closing and then we structure what we call an earn out where we pay her the rest of the amount over a period of time if and whenever the business reach a specific milestones of sales or, or obviously you can negotiate whatever you want but even if you find a business that want to sell you their business for a fair accounting valuation you can still do that because every business that you look into so every business that is working right now and doing seven figure in sales they have some kind of assets things like accounts receivables like inventory like real estate machineries you can go to financial institutions that specialize in those acquisitions and raise capital using those business assets many times as collateral so you won't even need to personally guarantee anything and then you can use that amount that you raise to buy that business so it's basically just thinking with yourself what is better do you want to grow one client at a time go out there do facebook ads do uh, adwords and maybe test different markets and what i found out is that many people when they try to test different target markets they literally it's like starting a business from scratch they're spending so much money instead of that they can just grow by acquisitions and find a business with the same type of clients and literally get access to hundreds of them the moment that they buy a business so that's kind of like you have two options there's nothing wrong with growing organically and there's nothing wrong with growing uh, by acquisitions both can work but growing by acquisition is just faster and not just that but it's going to help you more with the lifestyle choices you you have because you can also find a manager in that business who can take over your role so then you can become an owner investor versus an owner operator or an owner manager so i hope that makes sense so that's the first lesson guys don't shift between target markets too fast it just it, it's not a good business decision and really consider growing by acquisitions and finding businesses who already have clients in your target market and just go and buy them and if you want to explore if your existing business can fit growing by acquisitions and you want to uh, see if our team can help you and me and my team did more than 300 deals we're involved in more than 300 deals buying businesses you can go to moanpober.com forward slash talk and see the details there we will basically learn about the business learn what you're doing right what you're doing wrong and figure out if growing back acquisitions can fit your business and if it's not we are happy to send you to someone else who could potentially help you if growing by organically right now is the only way so Go to moanpower.com forward slash talk if you want to learn more about that. Otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're watching this on video, like, subscribe, comment below. Either way, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have questions and I'll personally um, read them and reply to a lot of them. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.